witches! We have to. This is the only way, Rogan. No, not that way. That's how it starts. Twitchy fingers have to touch, have to play with everything. Then it comes, takes the itchy, twitchy fingers. You'll see. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. Let's take a look at Darian's journal. There is something in here with us. Okay, there's something in here with us. Uh, the Harvester, perhaps, and this is another thing that we can click on, but I'm not going to do that yet. I want to explore the other room first. And be very, very careful. Since there's another Lyrium well there, but I don't know what that switch is going to do. Still closed. This barrier must depend on another switch. Okay, so we are forced to click on that switch, so wish us luck. Let's see what happens when we click it. Ah, uh, there's an ancient sign that I actually didn't read yet. Safety first, of course. So let's save and, uh... Because we're probably going to get there. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, we can't click on that one. Okay, weird. Maybe we have to, like, activate multiple switches at the same time. I don't know. It's interesting. If there's one thing this DLC has showed me is how easy the game was with all mages. It's a lot harder when there's, um... The block? The waste of blocks, interesting. Yeah, it's a lot harder when there's just warriors and ropes. Learned of an old archery called Amgarot. Okay, so we're back at the start. And we click those switches. There's two switches in that room over there. But we can't go through there. So there's a switch here and a switch there. Hmm. I'm gonna walk around and see what we can find. Oh, there's another switch back here that I didn't notice. Whoops. Wait, what? What happens if I click this one? Okay. I'm confused. What about this? There we go. Now it's all purple. Alright. Uh, codex updated. Okay, there's one more. A breakthrough! Narada found... Wow. Narada bound a fade spirit to a construct of flesh and bone, and it moved! We'll have something concrete to show the nobles and the shape freak once we put it back together. Someone must have overlooked a missing seam. When the construct came alive, the hod, the head tore itself off and the body and scrambled off. Narada says it's nothing to worry about. She is hunting for it right now. In fact, that scratching at my door is probably her. Oh, interesting. So the harvester is a spirit bound in the flesh of something. And it's killing everyone now. Alright, fun times. Well, let's, uh. Now that we've unlocked this portal, right? By peace, by peace, by peace. Oh, yeah, it opened up. Okay. Uh, well, there's some bloody footprints over here. So it's good. Screaming here. Insides dragged out across the room. Screaming. Bloody footprints. footprints. Looks like someone was badly injured and in trying to get away from something. Well, I do want to go south and take a look at what's going on over here first. It might be a bad idea, but hey. Oh. Okay, devouring corpse. Just one of them. Don't worry about it. Let it come to us. Okay, and hello there. Of course I missed. There we go. Because that was such a tough battle, I'm gonna save. <laughs> and, uh, oh, here's another one. Hello. Maybe I should have headed into that room, because there's a bunch of switches there. Yeah, let's do that next, once we get back in there. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna here. Wow, you resisted it. These guys are tough. Even the normal dudes are tough. And maybe there's some more over here, perhaps? Yeah, there is. They're just normal guys, it's fine. Normal guys with big hammers. Okay. Alright, let's kill that one over here. Just to clear the room. Alright. Now, if I do remember, there was a door up here that was locked. And I wonder if I can, like, go take a look at that one. Um, I'm, I'm very curious, because there might be more loot. Uh, 
but perhaps that's for later. I'm actually super curious. I want to go look at it right now. Oh, yes, looks like we can. Took a souvenir, her pretty head. Well, that's a little bit perturbing. Okay, well, we can open it. And there's a switch behind that door. I'm going to save because I don't know what's behind here. Probably trouble. Uh, switch. Okay, it's saving for us, actually. Which usually means bad things are going to happen. So, hold position. Let's grab our Bronto. We'll try and block the door like this. If anything happens. Hello? Is there anything in here that we should... Turn around, turn around. Okay. Well, I'm going to pull the switch. Okay, that's a lot of dudes. Okay, everyone walk out. Get out of here. Get out of the room, please. Because they're all golems. Okay. Is everyone out? Yes. No? Where's, where's our big golem? He's not coming. He's not going to come. Interesting. Okay, he is good. Alright. Uh, as soon as I'm going to walk in there, they're all going to pop out, aren't they? Alright, so let's uh, move Leoric up here. And uh, Varric, or Jeric, I keep saying Varric, which is not his name. Let's switch to his bow and arrow. Let's grab the runic golem, bring him up here. I'm pretty sure they're going to get hit, hit, hit by rocks, but whatever. Whatever works, right? Let's get the Bronto. And, uh, cause that's a green switch. Why, why are they not doing anything? Hello? Maybe I should... Oh, never mind! I should... I should... I spoke too soon. Okay. The Auric. Time for force field. I... Bronto's probably not positioned perfectly, but hey. Whatever. We'll zoom out. We'll move the camera. And we'll do our lovely little combos here. So here's one. And the Bronto is just going to take a ton of damage. And we'll watch the Runic... Oh yeah, these guys are... There's a lot of them. And I think the Bronto is just going to get destroyed as soon as it gets out. Wow, that's four boss elite guys. Yeah, the Bronto is pretty much dead here at this point. If I can heal them up, that would be fantastic. But I don't think that's going to happen. So let's see if we can uh, heal, heal, heal. No, he's dead. Of course. So let's grab our golem here. Get him to walk up here. And uh, Leoric, if you can force field the golem. Shit. Force field the golem. No, of course he's going to take a big hit there. Uh, hold, hold on. Drink, 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 drink. Force field the golem. Oh fuck, I forfield the wrong one. Yeah, we're, we're dead. We're so dead. Oh gosh. Maybe we can run away. Let's try that. Let's try and run away. Can we run away? Retreat! I don't know how far we can go, but let's just try and retreat as far as we can. Retreat, retreat. Someone's gonna die, I'm sure, but hey. It's part of the game, right? Come on, come on, retreat. Ha ha! Eventually we'll be out of combat. Eventually. Our little dwarves are very quick on their feet. Okay, come on, hurry up. Okay. This is a very strange way to play. I didn't play like this before. Is everyone out of combat or what's going on? Yeah, they're... Out of combat now, maybe? Hello? Nope, they're still after us. Okay. Now they're following us all the way through. Uh, they have they have a vengeance. They want to kill us. Yeah, we're dead. We're so dead here. Well, let's go out with a blaze of glory. Now, of course, we got interrupted. That's not going to happen. <laughs> well, time to try that again. Okay, we're going to try the same thing. Um, I'm a bit worried because the Bronto dies very quickly. But there's something that I forgot that we had is fire bombs. I'm going to try using the fire bombs next time. Okay, Bronto, let's try this again. Hello, everyone. I'm a Bronto. I'm very nice. Don't hurt me. Okay, in the door. Bronto position. Good. Leoric. 
Force field. Force field. That Bronco just almost dies immediately out of the gate. And uh, yes. So let's do our spells. Okay, there's one. There's two. Let's switch to Voldrick and we have fire bombs. So let's see if we can use them to do stuff with. He has to get super close. Okay, so that's a fire bomb. That's not cool down. Do we have any other bombs? Yes. Let's try and use the bombs here. Do it. How's the force field doing? Not great. I think it's about to wear off soon, so we should move our golem in. How's the bombs doing? Uh, he's shooting bombs, right? There's a grenade as well. Let's try and uh, shoot our grenade at this, these guys here. Wow, that's not going to do much, is it? Um, there's another throne thing that I can throw here. Okay, so the Bronto's out. So let's move our golem in. If I can see what the heck's going on here. Okay, move the golem in. The Bronto is surprisingly tanky right now. And I think our force field is going to go off of cooldown soon. Jarek, don't die, please. Bronto, don't die either. Let's put a let's put a life ward on the Bronto. And uh, heal him up. Actually, we should mana potion. Jerk, Jerk, get out. Get out of there. Yeah, he's just stunned out of his butt. And I think he's taking yeah, blizzard damage now, so that's not good. And can we do something? No, apparently for some reason we can't do anything. Here we go. Force field the Bronto. Again. Please. Oh my god, do it! Does that force field the wrong thing? No. Force field the Bronto! Why is it dead? Shit, it died. Cause oh, because Jarek is dead. Oh, the Bronto is still there. <gasps> Did I glitch the game? I hope so. That would help. Okay. Let's uh, potion again. Let's get the golem out of there. Because he is taking some damage and I'm not too happy about that. So let's heal up uh, the golem. Okay, the Bronto is dead and everyone's just going to get wrecked now. Huh. This part's... Freaky. Because you can't really do anything. Holy shit, these guys are tough. Okay, well, reload. So I'm going to try a little bit of a different plan where I'm going to put the golem in the door first and then we're going to put the Bronto afterwards. So let's save that setup and let's try it. So I'm a golem, blah, blah, blah. Activate, activate, activate. Hello? No? Yes? Okay, yeah, we have to get all the way to the switch. Oh, my camera decided to be stupid again. Okay. Force field time. So, force field on the... Wow, I took it off, of course. Lock my bars, please. Force field on the goal. Why did the Bronto move? Shit, it's not supposed to move. Bronto, you're ruining my plans right now. And, the, of course, the golem's dead. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're screwed. We're just done for. The golem just got owned, so let's load the game back up. I think we're not supposed to fight them because there's four elite, super elite dudes that are just gonna wreck us. So I'm gonna just activate the activate the, the key thing, the switch. I think that's what we're supposed to do instead of being dumb. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna activate the switch. Ready? Pause, activate the switch. Ha! Oh, but they're activated in the other world now. Aren't they? That's gonna be bad. I love the grenades. Healing, so... What? Pulse of energy that heals minor wounds, sending a shockwave through the ground, reviving unconscious allies. Oh, he's got a revive now. That's useful. So now we've got another person who can revive. And uh, check out what's in the other chest here. Okay. I'm not gonna click that because there's a bunch of crazy golems in there. So, lightning. Oh! Oh my. Wait, is that a two handed? That's a one handed. That's pretty awesome. Messy kills, chance to fire damage. Wow. Okay. Um, maybe Voldrick wants that? The Reaper's Cudgel. Yeah, that could be good, right? No, actually, no. His stuff is better. 
Let's see. What about Brogan? Maybe Brogan wants it. But it reduces us hostilities, which is not... Actually, no one wants it. Uh, that's a bit sad. Maybe when I put runes in, it's, it's better. Because I don't know if the damage gets calculated after you put the runes in or before. Nah. It's actually not as good as I thought it would be. So I don't know why that's even in there. Oh well. Uh, let's remove whole position and get the hell out of that room. Oh. Oh, but we can't leave. Okay, let's try them. Right, we're just gonna die, aren't we? Okay, we have, we have to switch and then we're just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. And we're gonna switch the other... Um... Why did they... Yeah, they're supposed to follow me. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other room and try to, like, activate the... Quick, we must do something! <laughs> yes! I... They must be sacrificed for me to live. And I need to activate that switch and then the golems won't be there anymore. Switch activate. Alright. <sighs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> what am I doing? Guys? Were you having a little nap? Oh no. Oh no, they're stuck in the other world, aren't they? Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh no. Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Alright, we need to hit that switch. It's gonna teleport us, all of us to the switch. So I'm gonna pull the switch, pause the game, tell everyone to get the hell out, and just run. Fuck. Okay, that was an unlucky rock throw. Click the door, guys, click the door, click the door, click the door, click the door. Can no one click the door? Really? Shit. No, oh, okay, everyone get out. And run. Oh, come on, camera. You can do this, just run. Just run, I believe, I believe. Okay. Come on, we can do this. If everyone's alive- Oh god, Lyric is dead. The most important party member. Click the switch. Click the switch. See what happens when we do it. Oh gosh. Hurry. Okay, well. The orc is gone. So maybe we can go back. No, he's back! <gasps> we did it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> this place is nuts. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't like this. They're gonna be like waiting for us when we click the levers, aren't they? We'll pretend those guys weren't there, right? We'll just scoot along and be like, shh. They don't see us. Everything's okay. Whoa, camera went weird there. So yeah, that was a side room, I guess, for some extra loot for Mr. Golem Man. And uh, in the meanwhile, we're gonna head back over here. And uh, we're going to go into that room that the bloody footprints were in, because I want to see what's in there. Because I think the rest... Yeah, the rest leads somewhere else. Where this leads into this room up here. Oh, but we can't click the door. We have to switch the purple switch. Yeah, th we're in the blue switch right now, so we need to pu switch the purple switch. Well, I thought when the purple switch was switched, we couldn't go through here. Huh. Ah, whatever. Colors. All right, now everything is purple or pink or whatever color you may be. Uh, I'm slightly colorblind, red colorblind, so purple and pink look very similar to me. So I don't know what color that is. It looks, yeah, purple and pink. It's the same color. Okay, let's uh, save and see what's through this door. Some dudes. Uh, are they going to come? Hello? Of course, they're going to pull us to them. I'm going to try this kind of winter thing. They're resisting. Okay. Are they mages? Can we do mana clash? No. Can we stun them? No. Can we put them in a crushing prison? Yes! Finally. Jeez. 
Okay, I'm going to do a group heal as well. Because I feel like it. And uh, we'll just attack these guys. Maybe we can do a little bit of a frostiness. Frostiness, yeah. Ooh, ooh, can we shatter them? I'm going to try and shatter this one. Nope, that did not shatter. I think we need to use another spell for shatter, like Hand of Winter, but they resisted that. Uh, ooh, Voldrick is almost dead here, so let's... Uh, not Voldrick, Jerk. I keep saying V, I don't know why. He doesn't have a V in his name whatsoever. Okay, I need a potion here, so let's uh, give ourselves a little bit of healing potion. Are you guys gonna attack? They're just sitting there. Maybe just don't have room to do anything. Uh, ancient sign. Warning, do not taunt the sentinel golems. Oh. Really, there's gonna be some golems in here, aren't they? I don't want to click the switch. We're gonna leave the switches alone because I can't tell what color those are. Maybe the switch tell. Maybe switches. Do switches not to be activated without master builder's approval? Okay, that's probably what the other one says as well. Yep. Yeah, I'm not gonna click those yet. I'm gonna go take a look at the other room. Let's see if we uh, see what's going on over there. Actually, yeah, there's like a journal that we could click on, but we need to switch it. Oh, I'm very curious. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna click the switch, actually, and see what happens, yeah? It's a trap! Switch W, switch C, switch M. Let's take a look at the journal. They knew it was a terrible mistake, and they trapped it within these tunnels. Our foolish greed led us here, and now we are trapped along with it. Our only hope is to destroy everything. The creature, the research, the magic that sustains this place. I must get to the forge, but the doors are sealed. It will take a specific combination of switches. I must think more. This is madness. He wants us to destroy everything? After all we've done to reclaim this place? All the men we've lost? Trust him. Darian understands. Darian sees. Well, we haven't seen Darian yet, so... Alright. So we've got some switches on the wall. W, C, Y, M. Does that make a word? Uh, there's... W, C, Y, M. Mm, there's not enough vowels. Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm gonna go take a look around first. Enemy. Never mind! That was a mistake. Everyone go back. Everyone go back. Let's move the camera again. So, yeah, everyone just go back. Approaching. The Auric? How's it going? Okay. Let's get the Bronto in the doorway. Let's make him switch again. Come on, can I move the Bronto? Oh, uh, uh, okay, the Bronto is in the doorway now, so let's uh, put him in a force field. Let's remove hold position so everyone can do some damage here. And I'm going to activate my um, silly spells here. There we go. Guys, can you... No, I, I thought I turned off hold position. There we go. I guess I didn't even have him turn on in the first... No, what are you doing, guys? Stop. Come back. Oh, my God. And the fucking golem is blocking the way. Because he's in a crushing prison, isn't he? No, he's in a blizzard. Come on, move. Guy, move. Why... Oh, you guys suck so much. I can't believe it. Uh, oh, he's got a blizzard as well. Or a temple strider. So let's heal up. Let's do another group healing. Is there a blizzard in this room? Ah, whatever. Oh, there is, isn't there? Uh, because there's a mage up there. Let's mana flash him. That did nothing. Great. Ah, this is terrible. Let's remove hold position. Let's heal up uh, this guy here. Come on, heal him up. Jarek is his name. 
Dying seems to be his game. Alright, we move forward. What is the Bronto doing? Bronto, go do stuff. Alright, how's everyone doing? Let's do a group heal. You guys need to stop getting in each other's way. You are all terrible. Move up here. Out of the friggin' door. And, okay. Now you can do whatever you want. I just have to heal up. Oh, god damn it, now we're frozen. This is horrible. Golem, can you heal? There we go. That barely healed your like at all. Maybe he's got like a healing debuff on himself or something. Yeah, the curse, whatever. <sighs> I'm sorry <laughs> for all the complaining. This is a very difficult module. And um, it's being a little ridiculous to me right now. Shit pops out and you just die. So that's a red one. There's Darian's journal actually. Oh look you guys, more Phantasm. How awesome. Alright, let's see if we can do stuff. He's gonna do a crushing prison on some others, oh, two of them. Uh, actually, we almost killed him, so let's try and see what we can do here. Of course, who did that? Was that the ogre? Or the... not the ogre, the... The golem, I do believe the golem can do that. Golem, heal up please. I implore you to heal! Oh shit. Wow, that just nuked us real hard. Can we put this guy in a crushing prison or something? Just to... Get him out of there. Okay. Now it resisted. Great. Great. What are you guys doing? Killing some Phantasm Warriors. I'm probably gonna die here, aren't I? Yeah. Potion? Potion? Maybe? I need to join in them and help them kill stuff here. Let's see if I can't cast a... No, I don't want to cast a blizzard. Everyone's gonna walk in there and I'm dead. Someone's dead. Golem's dead. That's fine. We'll try and revive him. Except we can't see where the graphic is. There we go. Let's revive and um, heal him up. Okay. That's a phantasm shadow, so it is different. It is not a uh, mage. But we will try and neutralize his mana even more, like this. Okay, good, good. And we'll do his mana suck. Okay, Golem, can you heal? Not enough stamina. And there's no way that we can restore his stamina right now. So we'll take the wreck and we'll help to heal up. And I'm going to try and get my back away from there. Kill the mage, please. Wow. Wow, I stepped right into that. I can't believe it. Okay, he's dead, so that's good. Golem's going to die again, but I'm still frozen. Come on, buddy. You can do this, I believe. Kill the warrior. Kill the warrior. The golem's dead again. Oh my god, I can't believe we're frozen. Okay, all we have now is the shadow. So, uh, let's see. What can we do to it? Let's uh, put a weakness on it. Maybe, maybe I'll be affected if I do that kind of winter. Oh yes, very well affected actually. And we'll just do stone posts and other nonsense to it. To try and kill it faster and my camera's being wonky again. What is it doing? What are you doing, Jarek? Summon Bronto. Oh, okay, I was like, what? <laughs> I was a little bit confused. Just flank him. And do spells on him, I guess. Like that. One more spell? Okay, good. <sighs> Everyone's... You did it! Hooray! Let's save again and wipe my brow from all this sweat. Which I'm not sweating, actually. It's just theor... It's just, um... I didn't mean theoretical, but... It created a body. Harvested flesh from the dead. It hurled my friend's limbs at me. I tripped in their entrails. Ran. Still alive. Only one alive. Okay, yeah. I do want to check out what's behind that door, but if it's anything like everything else in this game, probably imminent death. Oh look! Golems. Protective headgear is recommended in this area. <sighs> we didn't see that coming. And a witcher. No, we're just gonna get knocked down, of course. Okay, and a witcher. Resisted. No, no shit. My blasts and... Okay. These guys are just annoying as shit. Crush and prison on that one, and we'll nuke spells on the other one. 
Find some lightning and some stone fists and just kill it, please. Make the suffering stop. Make it stop. Thank you. Good job, everyone. <gasps> Darian! He's dead. Darian's notes. This seems to be... These seem to be Darian's notes on the switches in the control room. After a number of crossed out lines, you see Y, M, Y, C. Okay. And uh, let's take a look at his journal. Whoa, I can still hear it out there. Poor it knows bastard. I'm here. Ancestors look back to the forge. Him. Darian gone? There's a shaft of light. But together. I, I can see my escape, but, but I cannot reach post. it. The ground is too damp, the rock's too slick. I could go out there and make it quick, or stay here. Either way, death is certain. I'm sorry, there they started talking at the same time, so I kind of missed out on some dialogue. I'm a bit uh, annoyed by that, but whatever. Uh, I think they were just saying, like, Darian's dead or something. Why would I want that? Okay, that's a weird belt. Four magic improves blood magic, but I'm not using blood magic. And maybe it's uh, giving us a hint that we're going to need to use blood magic. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to go back into that room and activate those switches. I believe if you activate the wrong ones, it's going to activate some golems and you're going to get your face smashed in. <laughs> um, so actually, I need to recheck what we need to do here, right? Y, M, Y, C. So I'm going to save. And we're going to activate Y. Y, M. Y. Wait. Did I mess up? Y M W C. W C. Okay. And there's the switch. There we go. Now we are red, so that thingy over there turned off. And Jarek leveled up. Okay. I'm gonna save, and uh, we're gonna head out in, to that door that's on the other side of this bridge. But if it's anything like what's going to happen before, we're going to get a bunch of shit that's going to pop out. Actually, it looks like we already killed the phantasms that were in the red area. I remember when we stepped out of that door, everything was red. Uh, but, okay, so maybe maybe we're not supposed to fight them that early. Okay, saving the game for us, and I think the harvester is down there. Not there, not in there. I thought you trusted Darian. He said to go to the forge. That's where everything is, including my research. No, Jarek. Can't you hear it? Jitter, skitter, in there, waiting. It'll wear your face, Jarek. Take it off in rips and strips. Okay. Looks like the Bronto's kind of, like, stuck up there. Ah, oh, here we go. Well, here's the forge. Uh, well, I'm gonna save. And then we're gonna get destroyed, right? Sounds like a plan. I I do want to check out what's up these stairs. Actually, that's where the uh, harvester, like, hid through. But there's a chest up here that maybe there's stuff in here that could be useful. So let's take a look. Yes. It makes our golem even better. All stitched together. That's, um, basically, I think we've gotten all of the golem upgrades. I'm not really sure what to give him now. Um, oh, there's a thingy over there. It looks like it's sleeping. That's just the harvester, all right. Uh, okay, and there's a switch as well, which I think turns off the red goop. The red. Oh, hello there. Whoa! Oh, okay. Okay, it's a lot bigger than my thought. And it's made of body parts. Excellent. New codex entry the harvester, and there's a switch over there, which maybe does something. I don't know. Quest updated to kill the harvester. Yep. And, or die trying, it says. The harvester is the product of a misguided attempt to recreate Paragon Keridin's research and to build golems for Ozamar. The researchers used the flesh of the cast of dwarves as a cheap alternative to stone or steel. Fate spirits were bound, bound to dead flesh, animating it. The creature turned out to be uncontrollable, resu resulting in the deaths of the research team. The harvester appears to be a twisted construct of rotting, flailing limbs with a disproportionately large head. It is able to attach itself to and control other large constructs and flesh. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know what we're going to do. Let's uh, click this switch, actually. Just why not? And let's uh, try and kill the harvester. Wish me luck. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. 
Wow, there goes half of my health. Oh, looks like there's some uh, ads. Interesting. Let's do a mass rejuvenation. Uh, Valric is dying, so I'm going to heal him up. Uh, he's ripping... Whoa! Okay, buddy. That hurt. So let's switch to Valric and let's tell him to heal up. Wow, that's, that potion did nothing. Maybe I should actually tell him to use some... Uh, what is it called? Uh, do we have any of these? Okay, no, we don't have any of those on his bar. Let's uh, let's make him use some uh, poisons, actually. Why not? Why not? Because we should. Right. And uh, Rogan should too as well. Why not? That should help. Uh, okay. Well, he's already taking a fair bit of damage. So maybe I'm going to try and flank him. Where's the Brato Brogan? Maybe you should uh, go behind. Varric is still taking a ton of damage, so I'm going to put a Rejuvenation on him. I think he's tanking, that's probably why. That's fine, we'll just use a bunch of spells here. Uh, okay, so he does that crazy cleave damage thing, which, uh, that's scary, right? So I need to watch out for that. Okay, and everyone just go try and, like, flank him or something. Yeah, and, uh... Oh, okay, so he's going to switch who he's attacking now. So I just need to be very careful. Let's try and do this. Okay, so the golem is taking a ton of damage here. I'm going to get knocked down. So let's heal up the golem. And let's put a rejuvenation on him. Uh, Varric is fine. Jarek, not Varric. I'm, I'm just going to keep saying... Yeah, I've said his name wrong the entire time of this L play. Let's play. So I'm, I'm awesome, right? <laughs> okay, there's another switch. Uh, golem's almost dead. Come on, buddy. We can't heal him, though. Oh, looks like the... Uh, okay, he's dead. Two. Can I resurrect him, maybe? Let's see if I can do that. There's a switch. And I think that's to go into the red world or something. Let's uh, heal up the golem. Uh, group heal. Can the golem do a group heal as well? Oh, uh, that guy's dead. Shoot. All right, let's uh, let's revive him then. Okay, uh, everyone's taking quite a bit of damage. It's uh, it's hard to tank. I'm not really sure how to keep people alive here. So, can we kill this guy at all? Okay, so we're supposed to switch between magic and things. I don't know what the switch does. I'm just gonna click it again. Probably it makes us able to. Wow, jeez. He's just killed everyone. Hello there, buddy. How's it going? So he likes to do that corpse explosion kind of thing. No, don't don't throw that off, please. Thank you. I was trying to do this. No, oh, we can freeze him. Holy shit. That's crazy. I didn't know you could do that. Uh, well, for barely any time at all. But let's heal him up. Let's heal our golem up a little bit. Uh, heal the golem. Actually, we're almost dead, so we should... Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Wow, what was that? Some crazy attack there. And there goes our golem, right? Boom, dead. Awesome. Well, we got him, we got him pretty, pretty far down. Well, never mind. More like 80%. Uh, <laughs> well, maybe I should look up how to do this, because I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know what that switch does, that kind of thing, so, yeah. There's no... Sort of figuring it out. There's ads. I don't really know what they do. One of them was red. I don't know. He does that like cleave attack, which does a lot of damage, and then that corpse explosion, which knocks everyone down or back, and it does a lot of damage as well. That's the thing. It just does a ton of damage, and I can't really tank it. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm, I'm trying to think about it. Okay, so I, I did a little bit of reworking, and. Um, I respect uh, Jarek to be an archer, so that he has archery, because the golem kind of walks around a lot. So we're going to try stuff. I'm trying to remember how to do this properly. So the switch actually kills all the skeletons, that's what I found out. So we're going to... We're going to have to position our people. We're going to click hold position, we're going to put the golem in the middle of the room, if I can find it correctly, there we go. We're going to get Jarek over here, we're going to get Leoric over here, we're going to get Bogan over here, and uh, let's begin. 
Oh, right, we can't, we have to skip that. So we hope everyone's going in the place. Okay, now we have to tell everyone to go in their normal, in their places again, which, of course. So that, that, and we go over here. Alright, cool. So now we're going to grab the Bronto, and then we're going to go in the taunt the harvester, and then we'll just kite him around. Okay, it looks like Bogan. Bogan's gonna taunt the. He's gonna try and taunt. Uh, does he even have a taunt? He doesn't. Interesting. But he doesn't have that pull, so I'm gonna do that pull thing. Actually, we're gonna just tell him to go and attack uh, the skeleton. And we're gonna continue having the Bronto kite the. Uh, okay, Jarek. Jarek needs to go attack the harvester. There we go. And we'll get the Bronto to keep, keep kiting him around. Uh oh. So we do have, okay, Bogan, you need to kill the skeleton, please. There we go. And uh, the Bronto is going to kite around. If, as soon as he's done, being stunned, that would be fantastic. There we go. I'm going to switch to, actually, he's healing him. That's good. Bogan, what's going on, buddy? I told you to attack the skeleton. We need to continue kiting. Okay, so that thing's almost dead, so please heal it up. Heal up the Heal up the Bronto and we'll do a life word on it. Switch back to the Bronto, what's going on here? Is the harvester doing alright? Yeah, the harvester's doing alright. Okay. Okay. And we'll just run around. Oh, is there a skeleton somewhere? Yes, there is. Okay, Bogan. Go after the skeleton there. And we'll switch to the Bronto. Okay, we'll just focus and check out what's going on. Okay, the harvester's uh, taking quite a lot of damage now, actually. Oh, here we go. There's another one right there. Yeah, I think he said something about the switch not working anymore. But uh, that's fine. Okay, the Bronto's still fine. We'll just move around here. Okay, harvester. Harvester's still following me around. That's good. Okay, Bogan. There's one more skeleton, if you would please go after him. No, 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 no. Shit. That was that was Varric or Jarek. Uh, where's Bogan? There he is. Bogan, go kill the harvester, please. Or not the harvester, the um. We go kill that guy. No, oh, there's another one. Hmm. Okay, Lyric. Please put that one in a crushing prison. While I need to watch stuff that's going on here. All right. Uh oh. How's the harvester doing? He's still going after the Bronto, which is good. Alright. Oh, there's quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of dudes right now, so... Maybe I should click the, the switch to kill them. Yeah, let's do it. Let's click this switch. I'm going to click the switch. It's going to kill the skeletons. There we go. I'm going to switch back to the Bronto. Looks like there's one more guy. So we're going to switch to Bogan. We're going to tell him to attack the skeleton. We're going to switch to Leoric. Uh, tell him to sit there and don't do anything. And heal up the Bronto. And then we'll get the Bronto to keep moving around again. Here we go. There's more skeletons coming in through the room. That's fine. I'll try and figure out what to do here. Uh, let's switch back to Leoric. Looks like the golem's taking quite a lot of damage, so let's heal up the golem. Uh, I'm, I need to switch to the Bronto to make him move again. Uh, okay, so now we've got... Oh shit, the golem's dead. That was quick. Okay, let's try and revive the golem here. The Bronto's gonna die here too, so we need to... Ah, Bronto's dead. Shit. Ah, wow, this golem is taking tons of damage here. Uh, so turn on the flame weapons again. Oh shit. Yeah, if the golem dies, it's kind of game over. And he's dead again, and everyone's dead. What the hell's happening here? Okay, let's... Click the switch, kill all the skeletons. The harvester is almost dead here, but uh, I need to turn on my uh, yeah, the two two people that I want to keep uh, alive are are oh, here. We go. This is the cutscene for phase two. Uh, and now he's uh, basically going to be just me. Hopefully, I can stay long enough. Let's do a hand of winter. Let's pot potion and then do a hand of winter. Jark, what are you doing? You're not supposed to use those weapons, actually. That sucks. And I forgot to put some poisons on his weapon, actually. That's funny. I should have done that. 
So let's um, poison on his weapons, please. Totally forgot to do that. And he doesn't have any arrows left, right? Yeah, he used all of his arrows, it seems. So let's use those fire arrows right here. Uh, what the? Can we not use the arrows with the bow? Other oh, bolts. Whoops, not arrows. There we go. Ah, so let's use those instead. Get Varric to kill this thing here. And switch back to Leoric. Let's do some stunning here. Oh, maybe we can try and shatter this guy here? Okay, so... Is the switch back up? No, it isn't. But we're back to being, uh... I don't think the switch is gonna come up ever again. No! Jerk, stop using your stupid weapons. I'm gonna take those off. There we go, I forgot to do that. And uh, right now it's basically a clock race against time to be able to... Um... So let's actually put regeneration on myself. And let's use a cone of cold. The harvester's not doing anything right now, which is actually quite a godsend, so... Let's just check out what's going on here. Let's use another potion. I'm gonna pop my uh, shimmer shield here to try and... Uh... Okay. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? I don't know. I, I want to kill the skeletons, but they've got quite a lot of health. So I'm just going to sit here. Uh, I need a pot right now. There we go. Try and kill that skeleton here. Okay. Uh, but there's not supposed to be any more skeletons coming, but I guess there is. So that's bad. So I need to get Leoric over here to bring it out here. Oh, Jerick is dead too. Okay, shoot. Yeah, that didn't, that was not good. And I think I'm gonna die here as well. So many skeletons. Let's do a mind blast. And I'm dead, okay. Well, we got to phase two, so I think I'll do that again and I'll cut it when we get back to phase two. Okay, so instead of cutting it, I'm actually going to do some post-commentary on the footage since I did uh, phase one again, but I didn't actually commentate it while I was doing it, so I'm going to talk about it now because I feel like there are some interesting things that happened that I want to show you. So right now I have everyone set on hold position and I'm selecting everyone to go into their positions in the fight. So we have Jarek here, who's going to be standing next to the podium on one side, the switch, and then we're going to have Leoric on the other side of the other switch. We're going to take the golem and we're going to put him in the middle with his uh, rejuvenation aura or whatever it's called. Here I switched to Brogan and I see there's an add out, so I'm going to try and uh, taunt the boss first with with the Bronco, so then I can go and kite the boss around while uh, while the Bronco has aggro. Uh, kiting is basically having threat on a monster and you're basically dragging it along on a string, like a kite, so it doesn't get to you. And because in this fight you don't want the golem to hit you because he just hits really, really hard. So here I'm doing my little kiting with the Bronco and then I pause to take a look around at what's going on with the rest of the fight. And I see there's an add-on the Oryx, so I take Brogan, which uh, he, in this case he's the, the off-tank, which means he's going to try and control the adds. And I send him after the ad that's attacking Leoric to try and kill it. And I see Leoric here is taking quite a lot of damage, so I, I tell him to uh, use a, a potion to bring his health back up. And then I switch back to the Bronco and try to kite. I see there's another ad out, so I choose to taunt here, which AoE, uh, AoE taunts all the um, all the adds to him. But that was a mistake because the Bronco gets stunned and immediately, immediately kill, gets killed there. So I'm kind of freaking out at this point because I've lost my main tank. Um, so I switch to Brogan, who is supposed to pick up the, the adds after the main tank dies, which, which that's his role, he's the off tank. But I realize that I don't really have any taunts on Brogan, so I use the uh, the AoE pull. At this point I'm saying, okay, there's too many adds out, I'm going to pull the switch and kill them, up. Kim, kill them all. And that's what I did there, and it really like took off a lot of pressure off of me off of the fight. I switch to Leoric and I heal up the golem because I see he's pretty low. And then I switch back to Jarek to check out the cooldown on the Bronco because I want to summon the Bronco back up again because he is a very effective kiter because he's very fast during combat. Right now, right now I'm just using uh, Brogan to kite the boss around because that's all I have as a tank. And I see another uh, another monster is starting to attack Leoric. I'm gonna switch back to Brogan. And I'm still kiting, just making sure that the kite is working. Then I see the golem is taking a, a lot of damage because there's adds on him. So I'm checking on Brogan if he has any taunts to take them off. But I realize that I don't have any taunts on Brogan. So I switch to Leoric and force field the golem so that he is immune to damage. Since the golem doesn't actually do anything that fight, he's just there to provide the healing aura. And I switch back to Jarek and I see that the Bronco is off of cooldown. So I start summoning it up. And I switch to Leoric because I see he's taking quite a lot of damage, so I taunt the potion. And then I'm going to do a group heal as well because uh, a few people have 
health below 50%, so I go ahead and do that. At this point, the Bronco is back up, so I'm going to try and uh, take the boss with the Bronco again and, and kite him while I use Brogan to try and uh, clear the ads so they're out. So I, I switch back to the Bronco, I'm going to go close to the Golem, and I'm going to do a taunt so that the, everything starts attacking the Bronco again so that he can kite. But at this point, I see Brogan gets stunned and just gets pummeled a little bit, so I switch back to Leoric to heal up, uh, heal up Brogan. And at this point, the golem's almost dead, the, the flesh golem, the big guy, the harvester, which will push it into phase 2 uh, pretty soon. So I'm still trying to run around with Brogan so that he doesn't take as much damage because he does have some adds on him. So I try to kite with him, but kiting with two people at the same time is a little bit tricky, so I tell him to go move somewhere. And there the golem does his chain lightning. Okay, so here we go, we're in phase 2 and we have everyone alive. And we also have a switch, which I think I need to hit because there's a lot of skeletons alive, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll just get everyone to go and attack the Harvester here. He's a very jumpy fellow. Yeah, he likes to jump a lot. And now he's like stuck inside the ground for some reason. I wonder if we can save and then we can't. We'll have to do that all over again. Yeah, he's like stuck inside the ground right now for some reason. Which is rather annoying. Okay, so we've got some... Uh, some skeletons here that we can uh, take care of, so let's do a uh, feelings plight, there we go. And uh, kill the harvester, you guys, come on, stop jumping around like that, that's really annoying. Okay, everyone, go and attack, go and attack the freaking... What? Oh shit, that's a boss, okay. Uh, what can we do about that? Let's see... Leoric, let's uh, put that thing in a force field maybe, and then uh, we'll attack the harvester. If I can click it, because right now it's in the wall, which is really annoying. Okay, everyone go and attack the harvester. Let's get Leoric and let's uh, do some hands winters and some, like, freeze it. If it would stop freaking moving around like that, that's pretty annoying. Alright, Brogan, let's. Uh, Let's tank this beast here, if we can, or rather, let's get, <laughs> uh, I don't know where the harvester is, okay, he's over there, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit, if I can do this properly, yeah, he's, the, the, the camera's a little bit messed up, and let's get the, the Bronto to taunt that harvested corpse and run around, while everyone else goes and attacks the harvester, right? And I'll just get, I'll just run around with the Bronto. I was pretty low actually, so I probably want to like heal up. Yeah. And so there is another corpse there. Uh, but that's fine, we'll do, um... Where's the, oh, the Bronto's dead, shit. Okay. And that's a boss. Okay, well, I'm not sure what to do here. Let's see, let's switch back to Leoric. Is there anything that special that we can do to kill this Harvester faster? Let's uh, try and do Winter's Grass. And maybe one of those. Like this is a... Oh, somehow it died. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, because the the switch is on automatic now, so the, the skeletons will just die. And there we go, the harvester's dead. Awesome. Oh. No. Can't come down. Not now. Time to go, Jerry. Forge is destroyed like Darian wanted. The creature is dead. There could be other notes. More information to... No, Jarek. Not worth more death. Okay, and that's how you do it. Um, you gotta kite. You gotta get, like, your Bronto to kite the things while you have your golem doing the um, energy thing. That's it. It's over. Not the energy thing, but, you know, the... the Everything's lost. Health regen. No, brother. We're still alive. Let's go home. And then Jarek is like the archer with a ton of damage. That's actually the guy who was doing the most damage during that fight. And then Leoric the mage was set up as a healer to heal up everyone. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was. it's all about ad management while you have a ranger to... Uh, oh gosh! There's a ton of them. Okay, that's... Uh, I guess we didn't kill it. <laughs> and that's it, Grim Reaper. Um, that's for beating it on Nightmare, I think. Yeah, Grim Reaper is for beating it on Nightmare. That was pretty tough. Um, but once you know how to do it properly, then then it is pretty good. Uh, the golems at the start really pissed me off. 
<laughs> well, that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll do Witch Hunt next time. Take care. Bye-bye.